Framer just released design pages, which means that you can now focus on the design of pages, explore many different variations before committing to the final design and moving into development. And people are going crazy asking whether this means that you don't need to use Figma anymore. But I think the implication might be even bigger. You see, my favorite tech stack for building websites is starting with Reloom to get the wireframes and then moving the wireframes into Figma so that I can explore many different design decisions. And then finally, importing the wireframes into Webflow and applying the design decisions in Webflow to get the final developed website. And while I feel this tech stack is very, very powerful, it does require working and paying for three different tools. So to me, the big question is whether I can replace this whole elaborate flow with a simple one tool solution. One tool to move on. Okay, so here's the premise. I can now go into Framer Pages, use their AI wireframing tool to generate a wireframe for my page, and then explore many different design decisions without leaving Framer. Once I'm done, it's easy as right-clicking, adding the page to the website, and I have a fully responsive developed page ready to publish in Framer. What a wild time to be a web designer. Okay, so now that we're done being all hypey, let's get down to the needy greedy details and see how this new flow compares with my current flow. So since I'm currently working on a new kids educational app, let's try to very, very quickly build a landing page for this app using both flows side by side so that we can see the differences. Let's start with Reloom and enter the prompt to the sitemap generator. Landing page for a kids educational app called Captain Spark, helping kids to learn about money. And let's set the pages to one page. And while Reloom is generating, it's worth noting that Reloom starts with a sitemap and not a wireframe, which is the professional way to think about websites so that you can think about the purpose of each section. Plus it enables me to think about the sitemap more than just a single page, right? So I'm happy with the structure of this page and we can continue to the wireframing mode, which will write the copy and select the components from Reloom's library. Now, because Reloom is such a huge library of components, it means that if I'm not happy with a certain element, I can replace it with a different layout, which is pretty useful. That being said, wireframing process is not meant for making design decisions. It's more just to approve the content. Now, another nice thing about Reloom is that I can select a specific section and then I can prompt it to make changes, like in this feature section where I want to talk about the five mini lessons in the app first course. So that's Reloom. Okay, now let's try Framer. Now I'm going to create a new design pages and from the insert panel, I'm gonna pick the wire framer. Now I'm gonna use the same prompt and framer is going to generate the page for me. One important thing to note here is that I can only work on one page at a time, which means that if I'm doing bigger sites, I should probably still do site mapping before getting into the wireframe. Another nice thing about Framer's wireframer is that I can continue the conversation with AI about the page and ask for changes. So in this case, if I want to add a subheading and a CTA button to the hero, I can just ask the AI to do it and we, almost got it. Um, we got the button okay, but not the subheading. We also lost the hero image. So I tried to prompt it again and it brought back the image and lost the button. Well, you never know what you're gonna get with AI, but I'm pretty sure that these things are going to be better each passing day. Now, what's nice about Framer wireframing mode is that I'm basically in design mode, just like in Figma, meaning I can just copy things around and I can start moving them and make changes to the wireframes, something that I cannot do in Reloom because in Reloom, I'm forced to use the components as they are. Okay, let's move into the design exploration phase. Now, Reloom has this style guide feature, which I don't think is super valuable in a professional setting, but for beginners, it does help to explore color ideas and fonts if you have no idea what you want. Now, as you can see, the results are not amazing, which leads me into an important topic, which is fonts. Now, Reloom's style guide can let you try nice premium fonts recommended by celebrity designers, but most of the good options cost money. Now, if you revert to the free Google fonts, the choices are not amazing. Now, remember this later because I think this is where Framer are doing something super cool. In this case, since I don't like the results and I just want to explore the design on my own, I just need to import the wireframes into Figma. So this means I need to duplicate their starter guide and then using the Reloom plugin, import the wireframes into Figma. Now that the wireframes are in Figma, I can start exploring. Now there's one issue. 
Basically, the whole point of using Reloom is that the wireframes are connected to a style guide, which means that if I already know what fonts and colors I'm going to be using, then I can make changes in the style guide and the whole design is going to be, you know, implemented, which is really great, right? Well, it's great if you know what fonts and colors you're going to use, but if you don't, you basically now have to disconnect all of the styles so that you can try different things, which is, you know, why we brought the design into Figma in the first place, right? So now I can duplicate my canvas and make changes. For example, if I want to try a different background color or if I want to try a different layout and look at my options side by side. Now, I know these are not amazing options, but I'm just trying to demo a process here. Okay, so let's see how this design exploration looks like in Framer. The first thing that I wanted to show you that I'm super excited about is the fonts. Remember that in Reloom, we could preview premium fonts, but if we wanted to actually use them in Figma or in Webflow, we would have to pay for them or resort to free fonts. Well, Framer did an amazing thing and they got really great premium fonts already loaded inside of Framer, ready for us to use at no extra cost. This means I'm not just saving money on using one tool versus three tools, I'm also saving money on premium fonts and they have some really, really nice options. How cool is that? Now, just like in Figma, I can duplicate my canvas to explore different background options and different layouts and I'm shocked that my design sucks in Framer just like it did in Figma. Okay, time to develop this ugly mess. In Figma, say I like this design best. To bring it into Webflow, what I actually need to do is this. I need to select Export to Webflow from Reloom, and this will prompt me to clone their style guide. Now I'm gonna do that, and in their starter file, I'm going to open up the Reloom app, and I'm going to import the wireframes. Now it's going to load and tell me that it just saved me five hours and 30 minutes, which in the old days I was really happy about, but at this point I feel like it's kind of wasting my time rather than saving me time. So now I'm going to have to re-upload all of the image assets from Figma. And since Incher, my font of choice is not loaded by default in Webflow, I'm going to have to go to the project setting and I'm going to have to load the fonts from Google. Now back in my Webflow project, I'm going to head to the style guide change the project font, and then I'm gonna add my colors as variables so that I can use them as a background color and for my buttons, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Once I upload the rest of the assets, my page is fully ready to publish. Now let's see how that would work in Framer. Say I like this design option the most, I'm going to select it, I'm going to right click it and choose create web page and that's it. <laughs> I'm going to set this as a home page and delete the empty page. Um, and after uploading the rest of the images assets, I'm, I'm done, I'm ready to publish. Actually, there is one more thing to think about and that is responsiveness. Now, Reloom comes responsive out of the box, but in Framer, I do have to create a tablet breakpoint and a mobile breakpoint. And although it doesn't look too horrible, I may wanna make some manual adjustments to the responsive breakpoints to make sure that everything is looking the way I want it. All right, I'm done. So. What's the verdict? Did Framer cooked, as the kids these days say? I would say that if you're a beginner web design with limited resources and you're looking for a single tool to rule them all, plus some awesome free fonts thrown in your way, then this is definitely super interesting option. That being said, if you're working on a big project and you need to think about multiple pages, design system, and have total customization, you probably still stick to the Reloom Figma workflow for now. But these are indeed wild times to be a web designer, probably the best time ever to become a web designer. Let me know what you think in the comments below and check out this video next.